This is 1983 Lincoln sent with double die reverse. Graded in mint state 67 read by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a remarkably well-produced and preserved example of this perennially popular variety in the modern Lincoln scent series. Vivid medium orange surfaces are fully struck with a silky smooth texture that borders on pristine. Somewhere on the order of 2,000 to 3,000 examples of this variety are known. Most of which were discovered either in the area of Lewiston, Pennsylvania or in northern Florida. This is a popular and readily attributable variety with doubling to all lettering on the reverse. It was sold for $2,640. Number 5. This is 1989 D. Lincoln sent in MS-65 red condition. An error coin struck on a pre-1983 copper planchet. According to Heritage Auctions, the remarkable aspect of this intriguing mint error is that copper planchets were last used for coinage in 1982, seven years before this piece was struck. Copper blanks in early 1982 weighed 3.11 grams and had a composition of 95% copper and 5% zinc. The zinc planchets used from that point through 1989, and to the present, were composed of a nearly pure zinc core with copper plating, for a total composition of 97.5% zinc and 2.5% copper that weighed only 2.5 grams. Perhaps a copper planchet remained hidden for years within the crevices of mint machinery or transport equipment, or perhaps a planchet supplier mixed in a copper planchet that had been set aside as a souvenir. Whatever the reason for this anomalous wrong stock error, it is likely irreplaceable. This lustrous orange-red coin is well struck and mark-free. It was sold for $7,500. Number 4. Here is 1985 Lincoln scent in MS-68 plus red condition. It is extremely rare that a Lincoln scent from this period warrants a grade from PCGS as fine as MS-68 plus red, but this piece fully deserves it. The coin appears virtually flawless even under magnification. And a 10x loop scrutinizing every square millimeter of the surfaces finds microscopic imperfections that can be counted on one hand with fingers left over. It was sold for $5,875. Number 3. This is famous 1936 Lincoln scent with double die obverse. Arguably the most famous of the several prominent double die obverse varieties for the 1936 scent, distinguished by a bold north-south spread on the letters of trust, but prominently doubled on all peripheral lettering and the date. The present premium gem is a great representative of this guidebook listed variant. Freshly lustrous with unturned copper gold surfaces and only a handful of trifling flaws. It was sold for $21,850. Number 2. Here is 1925 S. Lincoln scent in MS-65 red condition. The 1925 S. Lincoln scent is a great rarity in MS-65 red and is unknown finer. PCGS reports one coins in this grade. In fact, the date is rare in MS-65 regardless of color designation. The present example is comparable in eye appeal and technical quality. The reverse is well struck, but the obverse is soft with significant dye erosion. Both sides offer softly frosted copper red luster with no carbon spotting. It fetched a sum of $36,000. Number 1. And this is 1926 S. Lincoln sent in MS-65 red condition. Major series condition rarity. The rarity of the 1926 S. Lincoln scent in gem full red condition is such that even the most patient and well-funded collectors may never have an opportunity to acquire an example. This piece has been added to the condition census. Both sides glow with satiny coppery gold luster that yields wisps of lilac and pale rose when tilted in hand. We note a few faint specks on the reverse, but they are hardly detracting and the surfaces are largely free of abrasions. The strike is the hallmark of this coin, showing better peripheral definition than is typically seen on this issue, much of which was struck with heavily worn or eroded dyes. It ended up selling for $90,000. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, happy coin hunting, and may the rarest coins be in your collection. Don't forget to smash thumbs up. Stay well.